Alright guys, I thought I'd take a break from crashing my drones to talk about Mad Bob's Jackknife. I've been waiting about six weeks for this, I guess. Been a little bit of back order, like uh, most of Mad Bob's products. And just a tip, if you're going to try to fly your drone beneath a UPS truck, don't do it while it's moving. Didn't work out so good for me. But anyway, back to this pick. Mad Bob's, backlogged. Uh, this is a, th let's see, it's 29 pounds, which works out to... $38 US and to me that's kind of expensive but on the website they say this is a tool that will last you a lifetime so 38 bucks for a lifetime not too shabby very well done all made from 301 stainless steel very nicely done on the outside all as I said all stainless steel except these hand polished uh, brass fittings that basically hold the thing together uh, to get at the picks you just loosen it a little bit and slide them all the way out. And right away, you'll notice you got a really nice selection of picks here. These are all basically a complete pick kit. Let me see if I can get them spread out without messing up. And notice how well they've been polished. Just beautiful. All of them are done to a mirror finish. There may be some smudging from goop on my hands, but it is very well done. If you look closely at these, even the shafts themselves have all been rounded. So Mad Bob's typical of their work. They took a lot of time finishing this for us. So that kind of explains a little bit higher than normal price. Um, you might say, well, you're missing a part. That's great picks, but we're going to need a tension, kit, uh, tension wrench. And we've got one of those too, and it's really ingenious the way that they've done this. If I can get this to focus, down inside of there is a little spring that has two attachment points. And then the, the tension wrench just kind of sticks down inside of it. So you can slide it in, slide it out. You might say, well, that's not very secure. Well, I beg to differ. This thing, it will not fall out of there. You saw how vigorously I was banging that thing. If you lose your tension wrench, it's because you left it laying somewhere. It's not because it fell out of that little spring. But you see it's got two attachment points in there, and that is pretty well done. Very well uh, attached. It's not going to fall out. All right, let's see, uh, try to pick a lock. I'm going to try to pick this Brinks. This is a brand new Brinks. It is a five-pinner. Here's what it looks like. Not too challenging, but I chose this one because Brinks usually have pretty good tolerances and also they usually have security pins. So as I said, brand new, works very smoothly. It's a spring-loaded core and let's try to get into it. I'll use the tension wrench that came out of the kit and I'm not really trying to pick the lock. If It'll be a byproduct. I'm really trying to find out what kind of feel we get. So I'll need a short hook, so slide him down there and put the rest of them back in and then tighten up the knob nice and snug. The knob, by the way, does come out if you break or bend these or if you want to make some custom picks and put them in here, you can easily do that. Re completely remove that, put whatever you want in there and then put it back together. E very easy to keep in, well, lifetime guarantee. I guess it needs to be easily repaired or replaced. All right, enough BSing. The shock of hitting the UPS truck is still with me. All right. All the way in, spring-loaded core, I removed the tension, and let's see what the feedback is like. I'm on pin 3, I got a binder. I got a good click. And just pin 3, that was it. Let's keep going. I can tell right away uh, the feedback is pretty good from in this finger along the shaft of that pick. I'm just letting it slide along there to use it as kind of a rest. Okay, that was pin 4. Should be getting some feedback on one of these, or counter rotation. These usually, these brinks usually have uh, some spools in them, and I'm not feeling that not yet. And there we go. That was pin two. No counter rotation. I don't know if I just popped a spool in or not, but I. As I said, usually these have one or two spools at least. But there you go, pretty good feedback. It's not about that lock, it's about this pick. Uh, pretty good feedback. The tension wrench fit in there very snugly, no problem there. Uh, I was a little bit worried about the length of the shaft, quite honestly. When you compare it to, I got a, this is a Sparrows uh, commercial pick. You notice it's a little bit longer. And I think the reason that they did that is because if it was any shorter, uh, it, your finger wouldn't be able to rest You'd only have like that much pick. You'd have to put your finger way back there, and when you did that, it wouldn't rest on the back of your hand. So by extending that a little bit, 
it allows you to hold it just like you would a regular pick despite being its very very compact size I mean, loosen this up this is very small let me carry it to compare it to a key it isn't a lot bigger than the length of a key so very compact much smaller than some of the previous uh, jackknives that we've taken a look at very high quality and I think it would I really think it would last a lifetime I am not disappointed in this at all but you guys know I can't keep it right I gotta give it away so if you would like to win this all you have to do guys you turn the camera down right there is the website go to that website go to the, the fan giveaway button choose one of them click on to it it'll show you what you're registering for take keep your eye out for a mad bobs jackknife kit and register and you could be the lucky winner of this thing anyway fellas thanks for your time stay safe stay legal get yourself one of these it's a five-week wait but it's going to last a lifetime i think it's probably time well invested <music>